Hey everybody, it's Friday. I like to read some poetry out loud. This is our last time with Eve Miriam's weather. Dot, a dot, dot, a dot, dot, spotting the window pane. Spack, a spack, spack, flick, a flack, flack, freckling the window pane. A spatter, a clatter, a wet cat, a clatter, a splatter, a rumble outside. Umbrella, 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 bumber shoot, barrel of rain. Slosh a galosh, slosh a galosh, slither and slather a glide. A puddle, a jump, a puddle, a jump, a puddle, a jump, puddle, splosh. A juddle, a pump, a luddle, a dump, a pud muddle, jump in and slide. So, why are we reading the same poem a third time? Great question. Because even with poetry, we want to understand what the author is trying to share. Why the author is wrote, writing the poem, what he or she is hoping for you to get from the poem. So let's talk a little bit about remembering what you read with poems. Here we go. First question weather, right? Why did the author title this poem weather? Is it about weather? Dot, a dot, 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 a dot, dot, spotting the window pane. Spack, a speck, speck, flick, a fleck, fleck, freckling the window pane. What are they talking about? I see a lot of umbrellas, and I see some puddles on the ground. They might be talking about weather, but if I was going to name this poem something different, I might call it raindrop or rain, right? Nothing wrong with the word weather, but I'm not sure they're talking about all the different kinds of weather. They're not mentioning wind or snow or hot summer days. Those are all types of weather too. I'm not sure Miriam, titling this poem Weather, got it exactly right. I'm gonna say maybe rainy weather, right? Or thunderstorm might be a good name for this poem too. I like weather just fine, but why did the author title this weather? Well, it kind of makes sense, right? At least she didn't title it Baseball. A couple more. How does the author feel about the rain? Does she hate it? Does she talk about it being soggy and she's stuck inside and it's the worst? Or is she a jump? Or I should say a juddle, a pump, a luddle, a dump, a pud muddle, jump in and slide. It sounds to me like she feels a certain way about this weather. Yeah, she's enjoying it. She's talking about grabbing those umbrellas and actually going outside, not just staying inside on your tablet on a rainy day, but going out to play in the rain. As long as it's warm, seems like a good idea. One last question, and this is probably the most relevant. Authors many times will write poems to impart feelings. They want you to feel a certain way when you're done with their poem. So how does this poem make you feel? Dot, a dot, 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 a dot, dot, spotting the window pane. Spack, a speck, speck, flick, a fleck, fleck, freckling the window pane, a splatter, scatter, a wet cat, a clatter, a splatter, a rumble outside. I got a little nervous at that part. Umbrella, 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 bumble shoot, barrel of rain. Slosh a galosh, slosh a galosh, slither and slather a glide. This is almost nonsense when you're getting to it. A juddle, or I should say, a puddle, a jump, a puddle, a jump, a puddle, a jump, puddle, splosh. 
a juddle, a pump, a luddle, a dump, a pud muddle, pump, jump in and slide. Those, some of those words, they don't really mean anything, but they still do their job of making you feel a certain way. So how do you feel when you hear them? That's all part of understanding poetry. Why did the author write it? Why did the author title it the way she did? What does it make you feel? And what does it make you think about? Thanks, everybody.